1891, Victorian society, there was no television, there was no radio, there certainly wasn't any cinema. So what did Victorians do? They read Penny Dreadfuls, or they went to the theater. And it was such a pervasive part of Victorian society. I felt there's no way I could have done Penny Dreadful without creating this world. We tried to find a theater in Dublin that would sort of work, and we couldn't find one with our production schedule. So the great Jonathan McKinstry sort of gulped once and said, we're going to build our own. The theatre is based on the Wilton Theatre in London. We sort of took some of the dimensions of that, some of the design of the theatre, and recreated it here. When you go into the theatre, you wouldn't know that this is something that was actually built from scratch this winter. You can actually see the years gone by with ageing and layering and paintwork. So we're going to do a little second team rehearsal with our background. If you're a Victorian Londoner, you come to a theater like this and see a company put on Grand Guignol plays. <laughs> it's a series of shocking little blood plays to show off special effects. This is the fly rail system. And all these ropes and sandbags really make the play happen because you didn't have fancy video effects, you didn't have recordings. This is what you had for Thunder. You know, pretty good all the way around. I've been lucky enough to work on some amazing sets. And honestly, I've never quite seen anything like this. You can go from the fly rails, down the stairs, across the stage, into the bar, through the house, up to the balcony, all in real time. It is a working theater. And it's extraordinary to have this level of artistry involved in a perfectly realized setting. Don't forget to subscribe to the Penny Dreadful YouTube channel to be the first to get sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos.